Final score, Ferris State wins it over Northern Michigan, 68-56. to Joined by the head coach of the Ferris State Bulldogs, Kendra Foston. Coach, congratulations on the sweep this weekend. A big performance uh, here today on Senior Day for your team. Yeah, and how great that um, that our seniors played so well, right? And, and um, clearly Lily George was uh, was on fire in the first half and, and, and then came out and did it again in the second half. And, you know, Riley Blair and... Emily Cott had some really, really great possessions, and um, and Renee. I mean, Renee would be playing more if she was fully healthy, right? Like, I want to keep her out on the court the whole time, but I have to keep thinking that it's just not about my sentimental love today. <laughs> that it's about um, it's about you know the long term of our season and her getting healthy, and so um, just really. This is such a special group, and I'm I'm just really happy that on Senior Day that that we could play like this and and keep it going. Talk about the defensive performance of your team. Obviously, uh, you made Schultz and, uh, and the rest of their team. Uh, they had a lot of size, a lot of length, but uh, you did a nice job defensively and really made them work for their opportunities. Yeah, I, I thought um, I thought we were really active off the ball. Um, we missed a couple rotations, and then um, you know we didn't miss it the second time. It's something about this group that I really love is <clears throat> that we can make a mistake and then learn from it and not make it again. And, um, and I thought we did a great job there. It, I mean, it was just a bloodbath on the boards, right? I mean, one, they're, they're just so big, uh, tall, and, um, you know, we're, we're fighting in there, man. But it's tough to come up with rebounds against these guys. They're just really, really tall and um, move the ball well. And um, I thought, you know, they, they did a really nice job defensively on us um, in the third quarter in particular. Maybe talk about the, the focus it took from your team. Obviously, you've got the senior day ceremony here between games. Yeah. Uh, you've got your seniors in the starting lineup, which changes things up, and, yeah. and the resiliency, I guess, uh, that they were able to respond and, and play like they did. Yeah, we've had lots of change this year, so a little ch change in the lineup <laughs> doesn't uh, doesn't bug us much. And I think, you know, I, I sort of forgot to tell Mallory that she wasn't starting tonight until this morning at shoot-around. I'm like, hey, Mal, you know, it's our tradition that we start our seniors, and so I'm just going to start. And she was like, of course, you know, like, uh, you know, Mallory McCarty would do anything for, for Emily Cott. And, um, you know, I, I, I tried to talk, tell myself, my inner monologue was that I wasn't, this is not our last game in Wink. And so it was a celebration of the seniors. And I, I'm just, I'm not going to think about uh, what they've meant to this program yet. Um, because that, that, that is like a reflection that I'm just not ready to do. I, I don't want it to be over and it's not. And so, um, and just mostly because I get all sappy about it because uh, I really love these kids. Obviously, maybe uh, talk about how important those uh, shots were from Lily George uh, oh. with the way they were playing you defensively against Riley in, inside. Yeah, I thought, yeah, Lily stretched the floor. Um, you know, Jessica Schultz didn't didn't leave the paint, and, and Lily did a great job coming to the top of the key and, and, uh, and knocking down shots. Um, I thought she had a great post, too. Um, you know, when, when they switched their matchups and then we put, you know, Riley up top and we put Lily down low. Um, you know, she, Lily just keeps getting, is still getting better every single game. You know, it's her senior year, but she's coming off ACL and um, she hadn't played Northern since her sophomore year. So she had dislocated her finger earlier this year and she didn't go on the Northern tech trip with us. So she was like all fired up to play Northern because it, it had been a while. Um, and she certainly made the most of it. I know, you, uh, as you mentioned, uh, not over yet by any means, uh, but how important was it to get, get a win here for the seniors uh, when they celebrate Senior Day on a day like today? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, it, it's, it's, it's a special day. And when you, get to, when you get to win on that day, it's like, you know, the cherry on top. So that's pretty cool. Obviously, uh, with the win here today, a two-game lead uh, with three games left uh, here uh, atop the North Division and something that I know is uh, very important for your program uh, here in, in really uh, establishing the turnaround that you've been able to make uh, here at Ferris State. Yeah. You know, our, our kids want to win championships, and, um, and so I'm really proud of the effort um, and the things that we've accomplished so far this year, and that's why I say, um, you know, we're not done. We still have a lot of work to do, and... Um, and this, that's what's probably so special about this senior class is uh, their contribution to uh, what you see on the floor um, has been, you know, a good solid three years of in the locker room and the way we do things and the how we do things and the way we treat each other and our culture and what we're about and what we stand for. And, um, and it's a lot of work 
and and then they get to come out here and, and show all that work. And um, this this senior group is is pretty special, and so I'm glad that it, it looks like that out on the court. Well, Coach, congratulations again on the win, and uh, we'll talk to you again this next week as uh, you hit the road. But uh, big win here today as you get the sweep this weekend. Yeah, thanks, Robert. I appreciate it.